Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Araceli? Hi, uh, good, teacher. Good. How was your Happy. weekend? How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend uh, very busy. Uh, I I go to the church. Okay, you went to church. Okay, yes. so are you congregating right now? Araceli? Yes. yes. Okay. Is it Christian? I, or... I am. Uh huh. I am congregating. I am Christian. Okay, good. Very good. Nice. Um, apparently, everything will start back to normal soon. Apparently. So, let's wait and see what happens. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Ronald, Maria, Stephanie, Helen, Araceli. How are you today? Thank you, Chair. You. Good. I'm doing okay. Thanks. How was your weekend? It was great, really. I Good. did some things, and I, I'm fixed the ceiling because it was broken. 
Okay. Uh, how much of the ceiling? Was it only one board or more than one? Uh, it, it was uh, two, three boards. Okay. So now it's... It's back to normal. It's back to normal. That's right. Good, good. Very good. All right. So what is today's date, people? What is the date today? Monday, uh -huh. 2020. Okay. okay, Monday, 17th of August, 2020. The date is correct. Okay, so let's begin. Welcome back. It's good to have you back. Um, let's talk about what we did on Friday. Do you remember the topics we cover on Friday? Pronunciation. Mm. Okay, what pronunciation, Araceli? Uh, I P E D. E D in past tense. Yes. Okay, how many different sounds do we have of ED in the simple past tense class? Three. And Three is correct, very good. What is the first sound? T. T, the second one? D. And D. the last one? A. D. N. D. Okay. Now remember, ID is the phonetic symbol, but the real pronunciation is ed. Wanted, needed, cooperated, investigated, and so on. So remember, when you pronounce letter T, it's only a sound. When you pronounce letter D, it's only a sound. When you pronounce ID together, it's not, it's not a sound. What is it? Played. So remember, if you say fixed, t -t, that's a sound. If you say cleaned, that's a sound. If you say wanted, that's not a sound. That is an extra syllable. syllable. It's a new syllable. Yes. Do you remember how to create, uh, how to identify the number of syllables in a word? How do you number identify? Exactly, the number of vowels. So the number of vowels that you hear will indicate how many syllables the word has. So constitution, constitution, how many syllables are there? Four. Four. Because you hear O, E, U, O. So you hear four vowel sounds. So constitution. Four syllables because you hear four vowel sounds. What about administration? Administration. How many syllables are there? Five. Five, Five is correct. Because you hear a e administration a e e a o administration. So, okay. So, how many vowels are there in English? How many vowels are there? Two. In, in the in, in the English alphabet, we have five. What are the name of the five oh. vowels? What are the names? A. A. E. E. O. I. O. U. A. E. I. O. U. Five vowels. <laughs> so, if we have five vowels, how many consonants are there? 
how many consonants in the English alphabet? Or better yet, how many letters are there in the English alphabet? How many letters? 28. Mm, it's, it's a little bit less. 22, how, 27. 21. Okay. How many letters are 26. there in the 26. Spanish alphabet? In the Spanish alphabet? 28. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> how many letters are there in the Spanish alphabet class? 27. 27. Okay, how many letters are there in the English alphabet? 26. Right, 26. what is the difference? Eña, la eña. Eña. Right, so when a gringo is saying el niño, how does he pronounce el niño? Oy, el niño. El niño. If your last name is Quiñones, how would you pronounce Quiñones? Quiñones. Quiñones, right. Quinones. So, Ñ does not exist in the English alphabet. So, they pronounce like if it was, like if it's an N. Okay. Any questions or comments about uh, Friday? Questions or comments? No? Okay, no. so I hope that you guys had a, a nice weekend. I will give you a few minutes so you guys can work in pairs and talk about the different things you guys did on the weekend. So for this activity, I will make five groups. Add one more. And here we go. So what is what is your mission? What will you do? We are going to talk about our weekend. Very good. So how was your weekend? What did you do? There. Okay. So, okay, so let's open this. Loading, loading, loading. What's the meaning of loading? Think that you change the, the, no. the Always stage. in the living room. <laughs> ah, okay. Marcella, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Marcella was missing in action. Yes. Okay. So talk. A A A M. Then. Okay. Then I brush my teeth. My teeth. Let her brush my teeth. Dientes? Yes, teeth. Ah, brush your teeth. Okay. Let her I take a shower. Okay. Then I go to to my to my work. Oh. You Next. work on Saturday. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Maybe. Fine. You are rest? <laughs> Did you rest, Maria? Did you rest? Did you Did rest, Maria? 
Hola. ¿Hola? Did you rest? Do you see the chat? Yes. Yes. Did you rest? Yes. Okay. Are you Christian? Yes. Yes. <laughs> How is your weekend? What do you did? What, what did, did you, you do? do? Good. Oh. No sé, Araceli, no la escucho. Are you practicing mm -hmm. your English? No, de... de... Sofía, de... can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear Araceli? Uh, um... Okay, hold on. I will move you. Give me a second. Okay, this is room. Okay. To room four. Araceli, can you hear me? You're working in the weekend? Yes. Too? Yes. Um, I am freelance. I, I am, um, how do you say, empleada permanente? I'm a permanent worker. I am permanent worker. Monday, Monday to Friday and Saturday and Sunday, I send up my client. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who was talking about the weekend or this weekend? Fernando. Fernando? Okay. Uh, this weekend I will. I cooking I cook and the lunch for the my What brothers. did you what did you cook what did you cook Anaraceli in your church? In in the lunch. Okay. For my brothers because uh, uh, she's working in the building the church. What is the name of the church? Uh, Peniel. Ben Beniel. Peniel. 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 Is it in Zaragoza or Santa Tecla? 
Zaragoza. Ok. En Oder, no, eh, en Oder, en uh, my house, clean, en uh, lunch, my club, y organice, organize, organize my room, my room, en in, in, in the room, my son, in, in my daughter. Finally, I get home and get some sleep and on Saturday, on Sunday, sorry, I came to my work and it was all what I did on weekend. <laughs> okay. So are you working graveyard uh, today, Helen? Yes. What time do you finish? 7 a.m. And what time did you start? 3 p.m. So you started today at three and you finished two more at seven? Yes, I will. Is is that every other day or what is the frequency of working graveyard? Um for me it's not really it's not uh, it's not so frequently. Okay. Because this is not my area, but I know how to do it. Okay. So I help to to the reception work. And so in the next month or the next four weeks, I'm going to do one a week, this oh. schedule. Okay. And then only on Sundays, I have to work from 7 to 3 p.m. And then uh, the, the other day, I have to, to do my job in the office, in the administration, things and all, all that. Okay, administrative yes. work. Exactly. Okay, good, good. Do you prefer yes. nighttime or daytime? Daytime. You prefer oh. daytime. Yes, I I I was a receptionist three years ago. Uh huh. And when I did the change to the reception to the to administration, uh -huh. it was uh it was um. Um, a, benefit? A, benefit. a benefit exactly a benefit for my health because i didn't have a, a good sleep oh sleep time during the health. day right yes it was it is really difficult but uh -huh. thanks god i did a i did a change good good gracias that's good yes, yes. nice Okay. And now I'm here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where do you work? One more minute. What? What? I don't listen. Where do you work, Maria? Oh, Maria, I think Stephanie is ask, asking to you. Where, where, where do you, you work? work? Yes. Uh, where? Um, I work in Hotel Comforin. San Miguel. San Miguel. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's San Miguel. <laughs> Christian, how was away. your weekend? In, I am weekend the uh, the working. So you were working on the weekend? Yes, um, uh, Saturday, um, hasta el mediodía, no sé cómo es. How do you say mediodía in English class? Middle day. Middle uh, midday. Or yeah, you can say midday, midday or you can say noon. Ah, no. So I work Saturday until noon. Until. Uh huh. And Sunday, Christian? And Sunday. Spend uh, with uh, my family, uh, see movie with friends. 
Mm. Okay. I... So did you enjoy your weekend, Christian? Did you what? enjoy your weekend? Did you enjoy your weekend? Lo disfrutó? Yes. Yes. Good. All right, let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. So last week, now before we continue, are there any questions related with the activities you did on, on the weekend? No? Is everything clear in terms of vocabulary or pronunciation? It, it's correct if, if I say during the weekend. Uh, sure, during the weekend. Or you can say on the weekend. The two okay. are okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right. Any other Teacher, questions? Yes. Uh, how do you say extraer? Extract. Extract. Yes. Okay. Extraer what? Dinero? <laughs> no? Uh, or extraer who? Helen extra extraer dinero. Oh. So she extracted <laughs> money. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> okay. Anyways. So... Uh, last week, we were talking about different things about restaurants. Can you mention the different positions or the or different jobs that you can find in a restaurant or cafeteria? Waiters. Waiters, uh-huh. Waitress. Waitress. What's the difference between waiter and waitress? Waiter is a man. Uh huh. And waitress is a woman. Okay, very good. What other positions are there? Chef. A chef. Uh huh. Class. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it? The cashier. The cashier. Yes. What else? What's the name of the person that is watching you? Bodyguard. Oh. Okay, a bodyguard can be one. If he's giving you security, a bodyguard or a security guard. Uh. Uh, what about the person that is watching uh, the workers? Supervision personnel. Okay, oh, the manager. supervision personnel or the manager. Exactly, yes. Okay, so you have the security guard, you have the waiter, the waitress, the supervisor, the manager, the chef, and so on. So, our following activity is related with waiters or waitresses. So, you need to go to page 21. Let me see this here, page 21. 21. Right there. This is page fifteen twenty one. Okay, part three. Can you see the image? Yes. yes. Okay, can I have a volunteer to read the instructions, please? The content in uh -huh. the training manual. Okay. Organize the topic, the trade, the index of the manual on the right. Then present your index to the class and explain the reasons for your choice. Very good. Thank you very much. So, how many how many items do we have there? How many items? Ten. 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 Okay. 
So according to the instructions Maria just read, you're supposed to classify and organize the topics. Because remember, when you are hired in a, in, a, in a work, in an office, restaurant, whatever, they have to give you training. So in this case, the training will be oriented for waiters or waitresses. So you have to decide which one should be priority and which one should be last. So um, what is the first one here? How do you pronounce this one? Setting a table. Okay, what's the meaning of setting a table? Like prepare. Good. Okay, decanting wine. What is the meaning of decanting? Servir el vino. Exactly. Decanting means like, uh, okay, you have this cup and here is the wine. You go like this, you decant. Okay, question three, requesting a shift change. What is the meaning of that one? Do you remember the meaning of the word shift? Helen right now is working the night shift. Night shift. Night shift. So what is the meaning of shift? Horario. Exactly. Shift. So in El Salvador, you usually have three shifts. You have the morning shift the afternoon shift and the night shift. So you have three different shifts. Okay, uh, what about number four? Following the schedule. Okay, how do you say that one in Spanish? Following the schedule. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like respect el horario. Mm -hmm. Okay, now remember this, addressing. Addressing in this case means dirigirse a. So how do you, how do you, how do you translate this one? Addressing kitchen personnel. Dirigirse personal de cocina. Okay, very good. So if I ask you, how do you address your supervisor or your boss? Do you call him, uh, do you say licenciado? Do you call him colega? Do you call him uh, Carlos, Maria? How do you address? Como se dirige usted hacia ellos? Now, getting to know the menu. How do you say that one in Spanish? Conocer el menú. Very good. O dar a conocer el menú. Getting to know the menu. Conocer el menú. Okay. So if I come to your restaurant, I said, uh, do you have a uh, barbecue meat? So if you know the menu well, you should be sure about the answer. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have barbecue on Wednesdays, only on Fridays and Saturdays. Dress code. Okay. What is the dress code? You Los uniformes, or... Okay. How you dress? How are you dressed? Use it. Los uniformes, how are you dressed? Okay, good. Dress good. Addressing customers. Addressing ¿Cómo? customers. What is the meaning of customers? Clientes. Uh -huh. Clientes. So, how do you say addressing customers? Mm -hmm. uh -huh, exactly. Mm -hmm. About tips and taxes. Propinas. Tips. Y? Impuestos. Okay. impuestos. Okay, propinas e impuestos. Very good. And then prevention of accidents and safety. How do you say that one in Spanish? Prevención de? Prevención de accidentes. Y de seguridad. Very good. All right. Okay. 
So right now, this is what I will do. I will assign you to work in pairs. Ya tenemos suficiente gente para que trabajen solos en pareja. Y decida cuál debería de ser la secuencia de todos esos temas. If your opinion, if you think that uh, setting a table is the first priority, then you put setting the table number one. If you think that number two is dress is the dress code, then you put number two to the dress code. So all you need to do is just classify uh, each topic, so you guys are ready with the with the with the training. So let me see this here. I have three. Yes, I have enough space. Move to room three. Move to room three. Move to room five. Move to room five. Move to room six. Move to room six. Move to Room seven and all right. So are the instructions clear or, or what you guys will do? Class yeah. are, are the instructions yeah. clear? You just have to classify and according to your personal opinion, which ones do you, you think that are priority? So let's go. For me, I think the first is following the schedule and then request re the number one. Luis. Hi, teacher. Hello, Luis. Stay in a table. Serving mm. uh, uh, a table. Yes. I think uh, it's it's important to know about tips and tax, special and especially for taxes. Yeah, 
why do you think taxes are important, Coralia? Because uh, when the waiters it count the count the la no, the tip to the bill. Okay. La cuenta. When they deduct the tips or the taxes. Yes. Uh, in some case, we don't know about what is what we are of paid. Exactly. Uh, maybe the la la. How do you say? It? Como cuenta. La. When you make numbers. When you make numbers. Uh -huh. When you make numbers, uh, you are maybe you will pay uh, more of you. Uh, thing of your work. Yes, thing. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then the questions come like, hey, why am I paying $10 yes. more? Right. Yes, why? Why is $10 more? Uh, the waiters, I think it must to bring an explanation. Yeah. Explain S to the customers. Exactly. Especially if the menu doesn't give that information. Mm -hmm. So That's look, I, I didn't see anything in the menu, you know? Yes, in some cases, the tips, it's, están sobre el, el están incluidas, uh, they are include in, included in uh -huh. the, in the total cost. Exactly. But in some other case, no. Uh, it's important to the waiters, it, can explain. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Very good. Yes. Hello, hello. Sitting at table? No, yes. Hello. Wasting a two change. Yes. Did you classify the the index? Uh, in eso estamos? How do you say? We are on it. We are on it. Yes, or you can say on it. So when someone asks you, uh, did you finish the report? You say on it. On it. That means in on eso it. estamos, on it. Okay. On it, on it. Uh -huh. On it. Okay. Exactly. On it. On it. That makes that you are in the process of of of, of doing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. On it. The number addressing cost addressing customer uh, one two three one two three four five six one one two three four five six 
in the number six. Mm. Um, I, uh, I think the number the number six is the carrying white. Sirviendo el vino. We already have the potential claims in, in no, okay. I'm a table. Is in a table? The number six. Well, what do you think? Trading a table. Trading mm, a table. Yes, in the in the end, the, the go to the kitchen and stuff. The next. The next. I don't know if the, ah, this you, point you, like, is the first, uh -huh. <laughs> and then we follow in the schedule. But I don't know. <laughs> But for me, I think it's important that the waiters and waiter following the the schedule. Maybe the waiters uh, have to have to know the menu in order to to offer the menu for the clients. Mm -hmm. Did you finish classifying? Yes. What What was your number one priority? Was dress code. So dress code was priority for you guys. Yes. Okay, and what was the last one? The least important. The last one. Rocio, we can hear you. About <laughs> tips and taxes. Uh, tips and taxes is the least important. Yes, it's the last one. Okay. All right, good. Let me check with the others. Bring a shift change. The, the number oh. seven, the counting Y. In the number A, the number A. Voice encryption person. Voice encryption person. Okay. Requesting. 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 Achieve. Yeah, a shift requesting. change. Yes, requesting. Is is number nine. Requesting a shift change. Requesting. <clears throat> Or or about ticks and taxes. So maybe when, when you're working in groups, maybe your ideas will be different. You know, so like no, I think number one is it should be number three. Or maybe you will say, No, I think number seven should be number one. But it, it's only an exercise. Okay, teacher. Yep. <laughs> Oh, 
coach. Okay. Yes. Great. So they tell you that for me, for me, I'll pack the safety one of the, the first one, but everyone has to know where is the aparato. I don't know how to say it. Uh, how do how to say what, Helen? Um, we have to know dónde estamos parados en nuestro trabajo. Eso es como un yeah. como una manera de decirlo. Yeah, you need to know where you're standing. Where you're standing. Yes, it, the, okay. the 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 translation in English is literal too. So you say, I need to know where I'm standing. Okay. Uh huh. Perfect. Good. Thank you. All right. Did you guys finish? Yes. yes. What was Almost your finished. number one priority? Um, dress code. <laughs> dress code. Okay. Yes, dress code. So this is the second group that they say dress, dress code, code is the first one. Okay. Yeah, I I think it's important because when you see the white terms, you only you don't only see at the person, uh, but also you see that the organization or the restaurant or or everything that I mean the waiter represent the restaurant exactly. in that moment and exactly. for that is important if you see a good presentation in the waiter you can you can feel confident you can feel comfort about uh, in about in the re, in the into place that uh -huh. you will eat okay <laughs> good good yeah it, it makes sense because um like you said when when the waiter or waitress they receive you they are mm -hmm. the face of the restaurant they represent yes, the restaurant yes, yes, that, so if they have that, good that presentation the if they look clean it, you will the client will feel more comfortable more, more comfortable teacher i have yes. a question yes, yes com, how do you say um, la persona no solo se representa a sí misma sino que uh, uh, el, el, sino okay. que, the, the person doesn't represent himself uh -huh. but oh. but pero pero uh -huh. okay el but, sino que no no hay uh -huh. so it, uh, the, the translation is not it, literal in that it's case. Not lit ah, so you okay. said the waiter doesn't represent himself, represent but himself. he represents the restaurant too. He represents the restaurant. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Very <laughs> good. Teacher. Hi. We discuss the point of the canteen wine. What is important to to train? Uh, I don't know, uh, uh, the waiters or to know the okay. canteen wine. Okay, let me ask that question to Ronald. Ronald, how do you serve a beer? Uh, I think, uh, well, first uh, you open the can. Okay. So if you want to serve in a glass, so you need to put the uh, the glass. I I don't know why do you yeah. say you think, no. incline. Ah, you need, incline. need to put the you need to put the glass incline because if you if you serve the the beer in that way, uh, how do you say puma? Foam. Foam. Like into foam. 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 Uh, you you don't have the foam uh, come up on, to the on top yes okay good so uh, going back to Jimena's question why is it important to pour the wine into a glass why is that important was that your question Jimena 
the question of Jimena, if it was, uh, what is the reason that the, that the, how do you say that? Waiter? No, hi, what, uh, what is the reason that the, the counting white uh, are in the list? Oh, okay. So imagine, uh, the, quest, the, the answer is very simple. It's like if instead of wine, they write beer, decanting beer. The reason is because of what Ronald explained. You need to be an expert. You have the glass or the cup, you have the beer. You need to know the right position of the cup so you don't create foam. Mm -hmm. So when you, it's like when you say, uh, serve me a shot of vodka, what is first? the drink or the ice the ice the ice so imagine that you put the drink first and then the ice then it will splash uh the client so mm -hmm. that's why it's very important that uh people know how to uh serve wine okay yes okay so that that is why okay it's clear now okay. all right Okay. Number one is import. So uh, what is your number one priority? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in our group, we, we put accident prevention on the safety first teacher. Good. Uh, because, because, we, because we rely that the safety of our customer is first. Good, good. Yes. And what was the last one? The last one is... About the tips. Last one. Following the schedule. Following schedule. <laughs> Following schedule, okay. Following okay. schedule. Okay. Now, why do you consider that following schedule is the last thing in the manual? Mm. Are there any oh, reasons wait. why you say like, oh, but following schedule is not as important? <laughs> no, the last is about is about tips and taxes. Okay, tips and taxes. Why, 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 Jimmy? Why tips and taxes are the last one? Because, because, I see. Uh, 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 following the chronology. The chronology. Following the chronology. Uh -huh. uh, the servers uh, to customer. Uh -huh. uh, is is finally in uh, in in about the ticks. Okay. About. So the customer. Uh, does he or she need to know the numbers of the check? So imagine you go have dinner, you have a couple of drinks, and then you said, how much is the ticket? And they said, uh, $75. $75? Why $75? So, uh, so you think that tips and, and taxes is the last one in the chart? right and your number one is safety and 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 prevention of accidents okay yes. all right good okay so we're almost finished we can hear a rocio teacher with my cell phone but it's the same problem Perfect. okay rocio we you can chat don't worry <laughs> Okay, mercy. Okay, so I, I think it. it's time to go back to the main session and hear your opinions. Okay. okay.
All right. Welcome back. So remember, when you guys are working in groups or in pairs, triads, try to speak as much as possible because speaking will get you more fluency and accuracy. So let's check. Uh, Sophia Stephanie? Present. Okay. Fernando Arturo? Present, teacher. Good. Uh, Coralia Rivera? She's not back yet. Okay, Ronald Humberto. Present. Okay. Marcela Orellana. Present. Okay. Uh, Jimmy Rodriguez. Present. Good. Uh, Christian Franco. Christian. Present. Very good. Uh, Josué Edgardo. Present. Good. Uh, Jimena Alexandra. Present. Very good. <laughs> Samuel. He's absent. Hmm. Okay. Rocio. Rocio, Rocio. It's here, oh, teacher, but yeah. we. Yeah, she listen. has. Right, right. Mercy Carolina. Present. Okay. Uh, Araceli. Araceli, Araceli. Araceli. Hmm. Araceli. Maria del Carmen. Present. Okay, Araceli is Present. here. Okay, okay. Present. Maria del Carmen. Present. Where? Present. Oh, right there, right there. Helen Lopez. I'm here. Okay. Luis. Present teachers. Good. Stephanie Montano. Here. Very good. Uh, Christian Omar. Okay. Uh, Wendy Guadalupe. Absent. And Magdalena, she's absent too. Okay. So, let me hear. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I, I am uh, Coralia, here. Coralia, Coralia, Coralia. I am in the group. <laughs> yes, right there. I got you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, I want to hear your number one priority. Volunteer. Why did you choose your number one priority? Why? Well, in our literature. Okay. Go ahead, Ronald, and then uh, we, we 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 talk with Fernando. Okay. Uh, we did a list in order to organize or, organize organize. Uh -huh. organize the items, and here okay. we put the following schedule. Okay. Because we think that the we, we think the employees should be know the schedule. Okay. What are the consequences if you don't follow the schedule? If you don't follow in the schedule, maybe uh, your boss uh, fire you. Right. Right. And your last priority, Ronald? The, can the canteen wine. Okay. So you think that the canteen wine is not too relevant? For us, it's not necessary to introduce okay. the training oh. manual. All right, good, very good, thank you. Okay, okay. All right, Fernando, your number one priority. Okay, teacher, in, in the rule, we put accident prevention on the safety first because uh -huh. we believe that, that, the, that, that the safety of the clean is fit and not only on the clients, but also on the worker, teacher. Okay, so clients yes. and worker safety is priority for you guys. Good. 
And what is your last uh, priority, Fernando? Canting wines. The Canton wine. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Cor Coralia, what is your number one priority? My number one priority is dress code. Okay. Why the dress code, Coralia? I think what is a both in our group. I think it, we think that is important because when you come to the restaurant and you see the waiter, you if you see clean, if you see it's a, he or she have a, an, a good appearance, you feel comfortable. You feel uh, and and you think that they are. The, the attention it's uh -huh. good. it will be good okay. because when the presentation is not for the person but or also is the restaurant it's the presentation representation to the all restaurant on the oh. all the place okay good so if the waiter or waitress has good presentation that speaks good for the restaurant Yes, that's big. All right. And what was your last one? Your last, last priority? One? Let me see. I check here. Oh. Decanting wine too. Nice. Decanting wine too? Yes, decanting wine. Okay, so that's not too relevant. Who was your partner, yes. Coralia? My partner was Stephanie Montano. Okay, good. Marcela, what was your first priority? Was dress code. Dress code. Why do you think the dress code is important? The appearance. Appearance. Appearance or the weather is very important. Okay. And your last priority? Was the propina. The I tips. Tips. Yes, the tips. Okay, good. Uh, do you guys think that tips should be included in the in the check, like mandatory, or should it be optional? I think it was. I I should it be optional. Okay. Optional. I think, in my opinion. Right. Right. When you go to Buffalo Wings. You know, they include the, the tip, mandatory. Yes, they are included. Yeah. So imagine that you use or you eat or you drink a hundred dollars, ten dollars just in $10 tips. Ten dollars of tips. My goodness. <laughs> but yes. anyways. All right. Uh, someone <laughs> else wants to share uh, your opinions, your first priority and your last one? Somebody, anybody? Jose Edgardo, who was your partner? I don't remember the name, but is wait me a moment. My parent is Helen Mercedes. Okay, Helen, okay. All right, so who wants to give your your first priority? Helen or Eduardo? Prevention of accidents and safety. Okay, For that is your number one priority. Yes. Okay, and your last one? About tip, uh, tips and taxes. Okay, tips and taxes. All right. Okay, very good. You guys did a good job. Any questions or comments about classifying this uh, index, these uh, topics? No? Okay. Now let's change topics. How do you say, hay un accidente? There is an accident. Okay. How do you say, no había agua? So let, let me show you this. Okay. Wait a 
minute, it's loading. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Okay, what is the name of the image? There is, there are. There is, there are. There is and there are. Um, what is the difference between there is and there are? <clears throat> For singular, there are plural. Good. Now, if the information is negative, how do you how do you say no hay agua? There, there, are, there are no there water. water. Okay. Okay. Look here. There is a book on the desk. Is that singular or plural? <laughs> singular. Singular. Po positive or negative? Positive. 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 Okay. Oops. There are books on the desk, singular or plural? Plural. 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 Positive or negative? Positive. 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 Okay, good. Now, when we say agua, agua is considered to be uncountable. So uncountable nouns in English are always singular. Mm -hmm. They're always singular. How do you say hay mucha tarea? There is a lot of work. Good. There is a lot, a lot of, of work. There is a lot of homework. So homework is uncountable. So you're supposed to say there is too much homework. There is a lot of work. So when you're mentioning a noun that is considered to be uncountable, you always have to use there is. Now, this is the first part on how you use there is, there are with positive information. Teacher, sorry. Yes, sir. Yes. I have a question. Ask me. In the first case, uh, for uncountable nouns. Yes. Uh, after this, always we need to put some. Uh, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily. Some and any. You know, some in any, in this case, they don't exist in Spanish. Because if you want to say, hay leche, you will say, there is milk. Mm -hmm. But grammatically speaking, you should say, there is some milk to make sure that your sentence is positive. But you don't really need to uh, mention it while you're speaking. Okay. All right. So how do you say, no hay leche? according to this image there isn't any milk uh-huh there isn't milk or there isn't any milk so if the information is negative and singular you should say there isn't there isn't a pen on the table what happens when the information is negative and plural okay there aren't Okay, look here. How do you pronounce this here? There are. R. 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 How many syllables do you hear? R. One. 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 Positive or negative, you always need to mention only one syllable. So here you say R, here you say aren't. R. So positive or R. negative, there is always one syllable. So, you should say, there aren't any pens here. There aren't any pens here. So, you should say, aren't. So, once again, positive or negative, you're supposed to say only one syllable. Now, if the information is negative and you're mentioning an uncountable noun, you will say, there isn't any juice in the fridge. Any questions there? Questions or comments? No? And the last block, how do you make questions using there is, there are? Is there a cat on the chair? Are there cats on the sofa? How do you say in the question form, Hay animales en su casa. How do you make that question in English? 
pets on are your there, house? Okay, good. Are there pets? Are there pets in your house? Are there, are there animals in your, in your house? How do you make the following questions? Hay alguna pregunta in English? Are there questions? Is there any question? Is there okay. any question? Is there any question? But the question can also be in the plural form. Are there any questions so far? Are there any questions? So you can perfectly say is there or are there. The two options are good. How do you say? Uh huh. Yes. When you want to uh, ask in uncountable, uh, you is the same logic. Yes, exactly. So you will say, uh, is there any pollution in San Salvador? Oh, yes, there is. A lot. Okay. Yes. So how do you say hay 14 departamentos en El Salvador? There are 14 departments in El Salvador. Okay. There are 14 states, states. in El Salvador. Okay. okay. How do you say hay 262 municipios? Do you remember how to say municipios in English? We, exactly. No. County. Uh -huh. County. If, it, if, if it's plural, you will say counties. 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 Count. There are 262. Okay, there are 262. Counties. Counties. Okay. Counties. All right. So once again, if the information is positive singular you say there is if the information is positive plural you will say there are if the information is negative you will say there isn't or there aren't and if you want to make questions with there is or there are you will say is there a cat in the chair are there cats on the sofa and remember the last part here they mention contractions so in English, it's very normal that people use contractions a lot. Any questions about this topic? No questions? No questions, no questions? No. Okay, so let's go with the exercises. Do you see the chat? Do you see the chat? I mean, not the chat, the, the, the image. Yes. All right. Let me. Let me take a picture of this. here so you can either use the whatsapp chat image or you can take a screenshot in your cell phone or computer right now so let me reassign so we have room seven available move to room seven Move to room seven. Mm. Move to room eight. Move to room eight. So room one, exchange with her. She will go to room six. Exchange. 
change with right here. All right, so please answer the questions in the exercise. Let me see this here. Okay, sure. Give me a second. Give me a second. Add a room. Marcela cannot speak, so I will send her to room seven, and I will move her to room five. All right, here we go, people. Rocio has problem with the app, with the audio. Right, right. Let me fix this. Okay. Yes. Um... Right. So I will send you guys to another. Um... I will send her to room two. And Ronald, I will send you to room three. Okay. Rocio cannot she can speak. hear us, but she's not speaking. Yes. Right. <laughs> we know Rocio, Pero don't Rocio. worry. Just supervise them. <laughs> <laughs> or you can write in the chat. Right, or, or write in the chat, right. The number six is an other question. Is we, we, we are, why are there so many Yes. Hey. 
Which number are you doing? I'm doing the number nine. <laughs> number nine. Yeah. Eight. A few things I have to do this afternoon. Things in this case uh, will be countable. Uh, yes. Okay. And it's plural, yes. Okay. So, is there are there are few things I have to do this afternoon. Exactly. Okay. Yo soy hambriento. I am hungry. Um, which which number are you doing right now? Seven. Number seven says mm -hmm. I'm hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. Good, very good. A. Yes. How yeah. many countries are, are in there? The world? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there a restaurant across the, co the street? The street, is there a restaurant across the street? Yes. Yes. It's true. Okay, the I number eight, how many, how many days? Hey. Good. Your answers are good so far. Yes. Uncountably known. Sint. Which one? Which one is uncountable? Mm, the number nine. Number nine. Yes. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. A few things I have to do this afternoon. But I, I think that is plural. Yes. So we have to use there are. Yep. A few things. Yes, a few things is plural. So therefore is countable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are. Okay, the number nine uh, is a question. The number nine or ten? Is there? Is there? Is there is correct? Yes, sir.
fades out. <laughs> Did you finish all the exercises? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Rossi. Contable según la regla es is. Exactly. Which which number are you doing? Eleven. We have a doubt with number. 11. Okay, something I can help you with? We uh -huh. put, is there something? Yes, your answer is correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, is there something? Something is algo. So it's considered to be um, uncountable. Good. Okay, okay. Thanks, teacher. All right. How do you say lejos so far? Far. far. Yes. Okay. Did you finish the exercise? Yes. Okay, so it's almost time to go back to the main session. Hello, Hi, teacher. hello. <laughs> Did you finish with the exercise? Yes. Okay, yes. so it's yes. almost time to go back to the main session. Give me a few more seconds. Okay. And <laughs> team. Did you finish the exercise? Yes, yes I'm finished. Okay, we are so, finished. All right, so it's almost time to go back to the main session. Just let me check in one more group. Are are there only three more days? Are, are there, I think, are, are there? Yes, because it's, no, no, they are only three, because it's not a question, it's a uh, it's Okay, correct. What, what about number nine? Is it a, a, a positive statement or a question? It's statement, a, positive yeah. statement. So, what should be the answer? Good, very good. There are a few things. I have uh -huh. to do this afternoon. Uh -huh. Okay, what about Thank 11? 11, uh, are there something I can help you with? Okay. Uh, is there? Is there? Is because there? Plural, no plural. Yeah, yes, something yes. is considered to be uncountable. Uncountable name, yes. okay. Okay. Okay, how many countries are there in the world? Is there a woman? Okay, what about number 14? Is it a statement or a question? Statement. Okay. There Very is good. a woman in the picture. She's I have a question. Yes, uh, Stephanie? No, no Helen. Helen. No, Helen, yeah. Thank you. Um, and the number five, if I want to say, is there any message for me, is that okay? Sure. Yeah, okay. You know, we have the indicator letter A, mm -hmm. and that letter A makes it automatically uh, singular. Exactly. Yes. Got it. All right, good. Thank so you. You guys are ready. So let's go back to the main session. Thank you. All right, um, do you have any questions about this exercise? I teacher. Yes, Jimena. In the number, um, 12. In the 12. number 12, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if public holidays are in plural, or yes. singular. Yeah, it's plural because you have letter S at the end, Jimena. Mm -hmm. So the answer should be no, there aren't public holidays 
next month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, may I have a volunteer to answer number three, please? Number three. There are 50 states in the United States. Okay, there are 50 states in the United States. Is that answer correct? Is it yes, 50? Teacher. Yes, it is. What are the two states that are separate? What are the names? The answer is good. There are 50 states in the US, but there are two that are in a different place. They are not- Alaska with the... and Hawaii. Good, Alaska and Hawaii. Very good. Uh, number four. What is the answer for number four? Mm -hmm. No, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Very good. Number five. Anybody? Number five, number five. Christian Alexander, what is number five? Christian, do you have Sorry. that answer? Sorry. Is there? There is. There is. There. A messenger for me. Okay, is there a message for me? Uh huh. No. No what? What is the complement of the answer? Is there a message for me? No. But there isn't. No, there isn't. Very good. Number six, why? Why what? Are there so many cars in the parking lot? Very good. Number seven, I'm hungry. Is there a restaurant across the street? Okay, is it a question or a sentence? A, a sentence. sentence. Okay. There is a restaurant. Okay, very good. There is a restaurant across the street. What about number eight? How many days? Are there in March? Are there in March? Are there in March? 30 or 31? What about number nine? Number there are nine? a few things I good. have to do after. Very good. Number 10. Is, yes. Is there a post office nearby? What about number 11? Is there? Is there. Very good. Number 12. No, there are in public the month. Very good. How many countries in number 13? Are there. Are there. Very good. Number 14. <coughs> there is a woman in the picture. Very she good. Is smiling. Very good. And the last one? There are. There are very only good. More days. Very good. Excellent. Nice. Okay, so let me revise attendance. We only have like a little bit more than 15 minutes. I just want to make sure that uh, Samuel, he never appeared. Uh, Christian Omar, he reported an incident. Wendy Guadalupe. She's not feeling that well. And Magdalena did not say anything. All right. Good. Um, any questions about the last exercise? There is, there are. How do you say there is, there are in Spanish? How do you say that there is, there are in Spanish? Do you know? I I. I. How do you say va a haber un show? O va a haber un concierto? Will be a concert. There will be a concert. There How do you be. say ha habido un accidente? There was. It there was. was. Okay, if you say there was, you're saying hubo. But how do you say ha habido? Yes, Rocio, I read your lips. There has been. Yes, there has been. So remember, there is and there are can be used in different 
tenses. So there is, there are, is in present. How do you say there is, there are in the simple past? Okay, there was and? There was. Okay. There, there were. There were, exactly. How do you say va a haber? There will be. There will be. So there will be a concert on Saturday. Va a haber un concierto el sábado. There will be. Uh, so when you're using there is, there are in future, you will use the same form, whether it's singular or plural. How do you say habrán dos películas? There will be two movies. Two movies. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions about there is and there are? No? All right. So let's go with the net, with the last activity, which is this one here. All right. So do you guys remember the function of would be better? When do you use Podría this? Ser. Okay. Sería mejor. Okay. So you use it when to give advice or suggestion. Mm. So I need a volunteer to read this part, please. Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, please. It would be better to let employees decide what process to change. Okay, thank you. Sería mejor dejar a los empleados. So you're giving suggestion. So you're giving suggestion. What about the next sentence? It would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Sería mejor. So you're giving also suggestion. Now, here we have other expressions to provide uh, suggestions or alternatives. Would you prefer chicken or pizza? Wouldn't it be better to call the manager first? Or you can say, it would be good if, so we say, it would be good if, if we have a professional to complete the man. So, are there any questions about this information here? No. No? Okay, so here we go with the last activity. You have four different uh, exercises that you need to put in the correct order. Number two, three, and five are questions. Number two, Number three and five are questions. Number four is a positive sentence. So what you need to do is put all the vocabulary in the correct order so the sentence at the end or the question at the end would make sense. Are the instructions clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. So let me... Send the last image of today. And breakout rooms. We'll exchange with her. We'll exchange with him. We'll exchange with her. We'll exchange with him. Exchange with her. And exchange with her. So here we go, people. Last activity.
I I think wool wouldn't it be better is together for general rule? Yeah. Yes. It's, the answer is good. I I ¿Cómo se dice yo? Yo fallé. I, I, I fail. I fail in the exercise in, in the platform, teacher. Okay. Remember that when you fail in the platform, you can always try again and make the corrections if necessary. But I I try and change the answers and ever ever que siempre estaban incorrectas really so yes. maybe uh, did you check the spelling mm, no no teacher because sometimes like you need to include the question mark or sometimes okay. you need to include the period so uh so one suggestion is to double check the spelling because sometimes it's okay. just one little thing okay i i check all right. The, the words. Okay. okay, good. It'd be better. Wouldn't, wouldn't, for you is, wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Yes. Mm. And, and you, Jose Gardo? Mm, I guess it wouldn't be better to revise the manual before printing. I think that is the correct way because you, you, if you saw, if you see the, the structure, maybe only when you need to, to, to make a question, only you need to change and will be better. Uh, most, most you can, no, you should put uh, first and after will be better, you need to put the subject. It, it... Right. If. Uh -huh. No. I don't know. Teacher, uh, yes. question. Yes. Uh, I am difficult. Okay. I have difficult with uh, it. Okay. It, I... Now remember, when you use the personal pronoun it it is um it's the substitution of the situation or the circumstance so you say wouldn't it be better no sería mejor si esperamos uh -huh. a que venga la inspección wouldn't it be better if we wait for inspection so wouldn't Would it, it wouldn't, wouldn't it, it yes okay so if you're making a question if you're making a question now mm -hmm. if you are confirming something you said no it, it wouldn't be better if we wait would. for the inspection okay. so it depends if you're making a question or a sentence so it depends if you're making a question or a sentence okay mm -hmm. So we will check the answers uh, together. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, thank you. Uh, it will not better. It will not better. To let the manager yes. decide. No bother, B. Uh huh, yes. It's good and better. They decide to let to. Um, they decide to let the manager. Yes. No. So you're doing number number five. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Uh -huh. Okay. Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't it be better? Wouldn't, wouldn't, 
escudo e o libera. Aham. Select the manager decide. Yes. Better. Is it better? Is it better? Better. Yes. Decide. Decide to let the manager. Let the. Decide to let. Manager. To let the manager. Okay. okay. Finish. Finish. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do you have for number two? Would it, would it, it be better to recite the manual before printing? Good. Luis, what's number three? It would be would if we change the dress code. The dress code. Okay, is it a sentence or a question? <laughs> so not a question. Okay, it's a question, exactly. So what would be the correct form to make that question? Would it be... Exactly. Wouldn't it be better... Good, very good. What about number four? Uh, it would be a good idea... Idea? To have, idea uh -huh. to have a training manual for a chef. Very good. And the last one? Maria? Would it be better decide to let the manager? Okay, you have to change the last two numbers. So you're supposed to say, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Mm. So you have to change the last two parts. Okay. The, the, the rest of the exercise is very good. So that's, that's okay. nice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Did you guys finish? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, what is the answer for number two? What do you have for number two, Jimena? Um, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Very good. Helen, what's number three? It would be a good... A good... Would, it would be good if we change the dress code. Okay, good. Uh, number four, uh, Jimena? Uh, it would be a good idea to have a training manual for chef. Very good. And the last one, Helen? Wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Very good. Excellent. So let's go back to the main session. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, so before we go, I need a volunteer to read number two. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Would, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Very good, excellent. Another volunteer for number three. Mm -hmm. Victim, teacher. Victim, okay, Mercy. What's number three, Mercy? <laughs> Uh, would yeah we write in the in the document yes <laughs> okay uh fernando do you have number three the number three on the number four teacher uh three the... i think three was yeah number oh. three number three would it okay would it be better to to let the manager decide uh that's number five which is good okay very good uh picture on the picture in the whatsapp only <laughs> oh okay perdi la, la, perdi la imagen, don't worry don't worry okay okay, okay and a volunteer to do number four please before we go Somebody, anybody? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Number four. Yes, please. It would be a good idea to have a training manual for chefs. All right, very good, nice. 
Okay, um, any questions or comments, people? If, if you could change your neighborhood, uh, what suggestions would you give? So imagine that your park is abandoned. What suggestion would you give by using wouldn't it be better? Your, your, your park is abandoned, but you want to rescue your park. How would you say that? Any ideas? Uh huh. No ideas. I think it it would be a good idea to have a a security. Okay, good. That's a good suggestion. Uh huh. What would you do to reduce the number of cases of COVID nineteen? What would you do if you had the chance in your hands? Wouldn't it be better? Would be better to use a face mask. Okay. Wouldn't it be better if everybody uses a face mask? Okay, good. Ladies and gentlemen, do you have any questions? No. No? Okay, so once again, thank you for your time. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. You guys have a good night. Good night. Sleep good night, well. Bye-bye.